everybody, it's Kristen. So because this Tuesday is so close to Thanksgiving, I decided I would do Tag Tuesday today. And the tag that I'm going to do is the Thanksgiving Traditions tag. I've been tagged to do this by a couple of people. I think um, Heather from Donnie Sweetie, as well as Laura from Walking for Life and a couple of other people. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. There are 15 questions. So number one, your turkey fresh, frozen, and how do you prepare it? Um, mine is, it starts out frozen, obviously. <laughs> we don't have a lot of fresh turkeys around here and um, I don't even know of a place I can go buy a fresh turkey. So anyway, frozen. And I prepare it in the oven in the foil method. I actually referenced that on my other channel and I was going to put up a video and the file was like corrupted or something and anyway. But I use, I wrap it all up in foil, I cook it really hot, like 450 degrees. Um, and the time obviously depends on how big the turkey is. You unwrap the foil for the last 20 minutes, it gets golden brown and it's moist every single time. It's awesome. Uh, okay, number two, stuffing in the bird or out. Definitely out of the bird. I do not put it in the bird. And my dad always brings the stuffing. Growing up, um, my dad makes stuffing from scratch. He starts with bread and um, not not like croutons from the store. He actually takes bread and dries it out and it's awesome. He makes the best stuffing ever. So I don't even attempt. Thanksgiving is at my home, I, I host. Um, but that is the thing that I always have my dad bring. Uh, how many people are usually at your table? That varies a little bit, but anywhere from 15 to 20 kind of is, and they don't all fit at my table. So we kind of disperse ourselves throughout the house. Um, I usually set up another, t I have my dining room table with the, with the extender in it. No, it's not called an extender. Leaf with the leaf in it. And then I have another table set up someplace else. And then, you know, we do what we can um, and enjoy our time together. What is your favorite side dish? Um, my favorite side dish probably is green bean casserole. I really like green bean casserole. It's absolutely my favorite. Uh, what is a Thanksgiving food that most people like and you don't? Um, real mashed potatoes. <laughs> We've been through this before. I don't like real mashed potatoes. I like them out of a box. And actually, I don't even make them for Thanksgiving. I make something that I call company potatoes. Um, and that is, you start with the frozen hash brown cubes and you mix in a couple of different soups and some sour cream. It's really yummy. It's my favorite by far of potatoes. Uh, da, 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 da. Leftover sandwiches or dessert later on. Um, absolutely leftover sandwiches. I love my favorite thing in the whole wide world, and it has to be on white bread, is turkey with a little mayo and then cranberry sauce. And I make cranberry sauce from scratch. I start with cranberries, nothing out of a can. And that is my absolute favorite sandwich ever in the whole wide world. So I always have one later on. How do you dress for turkey day? Comfy casual or to the nines? Definitely comfy casual because I'm cooking. I'm usually jeans and a nice sweater or something like that. I start out in jeans and a crappy t-shirt and then I work my way into the sweater after most of the cooking is done. Favorite beverage or wine to drink with a meal? Um, I pretty much am a water kind of gal most of the time. I can remember growing up, although this was more Christmas, I think, than it was Thanksgiving, but we would always, it was always kind of a special punch that we would make that was um, cranberry sauce, orange juice, and some Diet Sprite or something like that. So that always makes me think of the holidays, but generally I'm a water girl. I know I'm totally boring. Um, white or dark meat? Uh, I definitely prefer, if I'm eating someplace else other than a turkey that I've prepared or that my parents have prepared, I will get dark meat because I just never know and I can't deal with dry food at all, especially dry meat. But the, the way that I prepare the turkey with the foil method, it keeps all the juice in there and it's really moist, so either one is fine with me. Gravy or no? Not so much. I don't love gravy. I, I actually buy it to serve in case anybody wants it. I don't make it, that's for sure. Um, but I don't, ugh, I, I have no love for gravy. Worst Thanksgiving dish someone brought to your home and you were forced to serve? I can honestly say I've never had a bad dish brought to my home. A couple people that come bring some things and it's always really, really good. So I, I'm not even taking the easy way out. I don't think I've ever had something that somebody brought that I couldn't deal with. Cool Whip or whipped cream? I serve both so that people have the option. I think my favorite is Cool Whip of the two, but I definitely serve both. Have you ever forgotten to put something on the table? You know, I don't know that I have in the time that I have been serving. Maybe the pickles. 
I usually have a relish tray of some sort. I might have forgotten those at some point. Um, but and the Jello frequently would get forgotten. Um, not frequently, but in the past is forgotten because we live in Wisconsin, so we have Jello with every meal. Not every meal day, <laughs> but every holiday meal. Um, Black Friday shopper, if so, what time? Nope, I'm definitely not a Black Friday shopper. I steer clear as much as possible. And I get really annoyed when um, all people are talking about is Black Friday. There's a holiday first, people. <laughs> Thanksgiving, then Black Friday, oh, and then Christmas. So let's enjoy the holiday that's before us. It, it drives me crazy when we're looking so far past we don't even enjoy Thanksgiving. Um, so enjoy the time with your families. It's precious. Um, be thankful for what you have. I try to remember that. Um, off my soapbox. Name one personal family tradition. Well, I'm going to go with um, a food tradition in my family. We always had something that we called Verona salad. And it's a jello. <laughs> and it's it's actually black cherry jellos with black canned black cherries um, cut in half, dropped into it. And then cream cheese cut into chunks and dropped into it as well. It's really good. My Everyone in my family loves it. All of Bob's family thinks I'm crazy in the head. They don't like it at all. Um, but my family really very much enjoys it. And it, we call it Verona salad because it, it came to my family because my mom's brother, so my Uncle Dave, went to a girlfriend's house for lunch once when he, or for dinner when he was growing up. And they served that salad and the mother of the girlfriend's name was Verona. So we refer to her as Aunt Verona, even though I have no idea who she is. And thus, Verona salad. So there you go. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Um, I really hope that you guys have a great Thanksgiving. I'm, I always look forward to Thanksgiving. Um, like I said, it's the holiday that I get to host. And while my sister and brother aren't here, my other brother will be here, and Bob's family and my mom and dad. So I really look forward to, to Thanksgiving. So I hope that you guys have a great one. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!